Hey everyone, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. So it is week four of weekly Q&A where we get your Samsung questions answered. Full disclaimer, I am really sick today. I am definitely under the weather. So uh, this isn't gonna be my uh, you know, top-notch video here, but I'm gonna power through it for you guys. Uh, I definitely wanna get these out every week, every Wednesday. Let's go ahead and get started. Timestamps will be down in the description. Our first question comes to us from Mr. Mosin, and I'm gonna paraphrase here a little bit. What do you advise me to buy, the Samsung Tab S8 Ultra or the Book 3 Pro 360? The important aspects for me are the S Pen and multitasking, and I'll be pairing this up with a Note 20 Ultra. Um, I'm very amused with the S Pen. Yeah, the S Pen's definitely very cool, uh, but the screen on his phone is too small. It's giving him neck aches. Um, what do you advise for me? And he wants to use Samsung Dex on the laptop. So my friend, the first thing that I think you should consider are the applications that you're going to use right? Because you're talking two different ecosystems. You got a Windows PC here and an Android tablet here. So what I would do is write out a list of all the applications that you intend on using and see what operating systems they're compatible with. But let's just assume you're good with the apps, all right? You're even, 50-50 for both, it doesn't matter. For you, for your scenario, with your interest with the S Pen, I'd go with the Tab S8 Ultra. In all the years that I've been using the S Pen and all these different devices, I've never had an experience as good as a Tab S8 Ultra. Let me show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. All right, so we've got the S Pens out, right? Here's a Tab S8 Ultra S Pen. Now watch when I push this button here. Instant, let me do it again. Instant, let me do that again. Here we go, instant. Let me do that again. See how fast that is? Let's go over to the Book 3 Pro 360. All right, click. We're still waiting. Let's try it again. Click. Give it a little bit. Wow, that's how it goes sometimes with this. Click. There it goes, finally. So it literally took like five button clicks to finally get the menu to come up. That summarizes it up for you right there. The experience on the Book 3 Pro 360 it's good for a Windows PC, but it's not touching this tablet, not even close. Uh, the latency, just the actions like with the buttons and just the overall feel on the tablet compared to the Book 3 Pro 360, I'd go with the Tab S8 Ultra all day. It's the best experience I've ever had. Um, and as far as running Samsung DeX on the laptop, so you don't actually run DeX on the laptop. There is a DeX application, which will allow you to auto connect your devices when you plug them in via um, HDMI. However, DeX itself will run on Android devices. So you would run that on your Note 20 that you already have, or if you got the Tab S8 Ultra, you would run it on your tablet. And the cool thing is, is if you do wanna run DeX locally on a machine, another reason to get the Tab S8 Ultra because you can run DeX locally, right on the machine. And that's kinda of seems like what you're wanting to do. So I think for your particular use case, my friend, Tab S8 Ultra, thanks for the question. All right, our next question comes to us from Bon Herman, and I apologize if I just butchered your name. Uh, the question is, I don't know what to do. My Book 2 Pro 360 is only using 128 megabytes of VRAM. How can I increase it? Uh, my friend, this isn't something you increase. So VRAM is tied to your integrated GPU. In this case, that's gonna be your Intel Iris XE graphics, and that's gonna dynamically adjust based on needs. So if you start doing something intensive like gaming or rendering a video, that VRAM is gonna go up dynamically behind the scenes without you even really knowing it, and then it's gonna drop back down to 128 megabytes. Prior to Windows 10, there used to be a registry hack that you could do that would allow you to set the default value that it would start up with, but I don't think that's been working since Windows 10 on. So this is just something you wanna let the system manage. I wouldn't worry about it. It's gonna take the RAM that it needs, and it's gonna utilize your system memory to, to compensate for what it needs on the GPU side. So if you have eight gigabytes of system RAM, it's gonna really make that VRAM minimal, especially up front. And if you have 16 gigabytes, right, those are the two options for the Book 2 Pro 360. So if you have those 16 gigabytes of RAM, it's gonna probably locate more VRAM more easily because you have more system memory. I hope that helps answer your question. All right, our next question comes to us from Jose. Have you found any accessories such as sleeves or cases for the Pro 360? Um, well, so I found this sleeve right here. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. And this is for the Book 3 Pro 360. So this is designed for laptops that have a 16 inch panel. That's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. So that sleeve should work well for you. 
Also, you didn't specify if you're referring to the Book 3 Pro 360. If you happen to be looking at the older models, the 15.6 inch and 13.3 inch models, um, there's a couple neoprene sleeves from Samsung. I'll go ahead and put them up as well. They're very pricey, but they look real nice. Um, but yeah, that's about all I've found so far. I haven't done much looking. I've been too busy like cranking out these videos. But that first sleeve, that looks pretty nice. I'd check that one out if you got the Book 3 Pro 360. All right, our next question comes to us from Danilo. Hi, I absolutely love your reviews. They truly are the best. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm all the way from South Africa. Wow, that's awesome. Um, so request for the next Q&A. How's the battery life on the Galaxy Books? Uh, it's pretty amazing, uh, especially on this year's model, the Book 3 Pro 360. I'll go ahead and link you a video I already did testing the battery life on this year's model. Uh, we're looking at about seven and a half hours with the brightness fully maxed out in optimized mode, doing video playback. But I can get about 14 and a half hours if I put it down into quiet mode, take the brightness down to about 40%, and keep the volume at a respectable level. So the battery life is fantastic. Again, I'll link that video for you if you wanna check it out. And you also wanna know, could you show how the Galaxy Book 3 feels in hand as a tablet? I'm scared that it's gonna to be too heavy to work on as a tablet. And uh, your concerns are legitimate, and I, I think you're correct with your concerns. So. Using this in hand, first off, this is a big machine. It's quite a bit bigger than last year's model. And when you're using it in hand, it feels really awkward because your hand is against you know, the trackpad and all these buttons and stuff. And I gotta level with you. I, I like to keep it very real on this channel. I'm not trying to sell products or anything like that. I just own them and I talk about them. Uh, if you're looking for a tablet experience, I would recommend getting a tablet. I mean, you, you can do this, but if you're gonna sit here for long periods of time like this, this is gonna get really heavy on you. Now, if you wanna sit on your lap on the couch, that's a different story, right? It's just gonna be sitting on your knees, it'll be fine. But sitting like this, like I see a lot of artists do while they're sketching, uh, I just can't see anyone doing this for more than 15, 20 minutes before this gets too heavy and too unwieldy. So I know that's not the answer you're looking for, but it's an honest answer. I, I don't think this is your best choice uh, for the tablet experience. If you're looking to use the S Pen a lot on a Windows PC, I would actually probably suggest last year's model. The smaller 16 by nine screen and just the lighter weight of it uh, being uh, magnesium instead of aluminum, it, it's just gonna give you an easier tablet experience. It's you know less wieldy, it's, it's less everything. So, so if the tablet experience is a big deal to you, I would probably lean on last year's model. I mean, it's doable. Like I said, in your lap, it's cool. If you set it on a desk like this, it's great, fantastic like this. If you put it on a table, you can sit here all day, it's gonna serve you very well. But holding it in your hands, too big, too heavy, I think you'd be disappointed with it in the long run. All right, for our next question, Vink100 writes in, good video, can you also compare reflections with the Book 2? So we're gonna compare the Book 3 Pro 360 with the Book 2 Pro 360. Well, let's go ahead and compare them both real quick. I've got my overhead light on up above, it's my fan, it's a pretty bright light too. So let's grab the Book 3 Pro 360 and we'll start reflecting that light off it. All right, you guys see that in view there? Cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab the Book 2 Pro 360 and do the same thing. Yeah, I don't know, they look about the same to me. Uh, if anything, I think the newer model might be handling the reflections just a tad bit better, but to me, they look really identical. The only thing though is the newer model kinda gives you the perception that there's more reflections because you have a bigger screen. So, you know, it's reflecting more stuff back. But to me, they, they look identical, really. I don't really notice a difference. So don't consider that in your buying decision. They're both the same. All right, our next question comes to us from Adrian. And Adrian is a regular supporter. Thank you so much, Adrian. I appreciate you. Great stuff. Does the Fold Edition stylus work on the Galaxy Book 3 360? I know it only halfway works on the Tab S8. Yeah, so the button's really weird when you use a Fold Edition on the Tab S8 Ultra. So um, I don't have the regular Galaxy Book 3 360, but we have the Pro 3 360 here. Uh, same AMOLED type panel, dynamic AMOLED 2X, right? Um, let's go ahead and grab the Fold Edition S Pen. Let's give it a whirl, let's find out. So we've got the, uh, oh yeah, sometimes I forget the buttons on the flat part on the Fold Edition. Seems to be the only S Pen like that, it's kind of different. So it does have the hover pointer, that's a good first sign. We'll click, clicking again. Clicking again, clicking again. All right, so it's not pulling up the uh, Air Actions menu at all. Let me go ahead and open up S Notes and see if we can even write anything with this thing. 
oh, look, wow, it just finally came up. I'm telling you, like we go back to that first question, the Tab S8 Ultra is where it's at for S Pen stuff. So let's go ahead and open up S Notes and take a look. All right, so I've got a new Samsung S Note queued up here. Let's go ahead and start writing. Uh, nope, 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 it's a no-go. So by default, it's enabling the eraser. I wonder if I click on it if it enables the actual ink. Let's do that, I'll press and hold it. No, no. So no, my friend, it is not working, that's a no-go. So the Fold Edition S Pen is not compatible with the Book 3 line of laptops. All right, our next and final question for this week comes to us from Unleashed Gamer. Should we game on a thin and light laptop, and especially in Samsung, because the body is so thin? Will it impact the battery because of the heat produced? And if we can game, how long should I game in this? So here's the beautiful thing about this year's machine. It does not get hot, unlike last year's. So this year's machine, I'm averaging 165 to 175 Fahrenheit when gaming, like playing GTA 5. If you want to check out that video, I'll go ahead and link it down in the description. But it does pretty well, uh, especially when you don't use a screen recorder. I was recording that with a screen recorder, and it was taking up a lot of the FPS. When I was playing after I uh, recorded that video, I was averaging a good 100, 110 FPS in low settings and about 80 to 85 in medium. So it's performing well. Um, you're not going to have to worry about heat with this, my friend. I seriously think you can game on this all day long, and it's not going to bother the machine at all because we're not even pushing near 200 Fahrenheit. See, I don't think you'll have an issue with gaming on this. You can game on it all day long. I mean, it's running like 25, 30 degrees less than last year. You know, talking Fahrenheit, so just a few degrees less Celsius. But nonetheless, it's running cooler. I don't think you'll have any concerns with it. I never once seen it go up past like 175 or so. Yeah, and it's a pretty good experience all in all for, you know, a non-gaming laptop. Um, got quite a few questions in about video editing. And also uh, one question here about the Samsung ecosystem. I'm going to be doing dedicated videos on both of these, and then we're going to circle back to your questions at the start of next week's Q&A. I really do appreciate everyone's time, and as always, thanks for watching.